Okay, we are moving into, I don't want to call it advanced Python. I just want to say more advanced than where we were before. If previously we were in a 101 class, we're moving kind of into some 102 material. I wouldn't even call it 201 material. This is just more advanced beginner stuff. How about that? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start a new script. That way we can kind of have our new 102 section here and kind of improve upon what we've been doing a little bit. So what I want you to do is I just want you to G edit and we'll just call this new script.py, put a little ampersand at the end as usual. And we're just going to declare our bin, bin Python three here. If I can type it out, bin Python three and we're going to go ahead and talk about our first concept, which is going to be importing. So importing is important. When we say importing, modules are existent in Python, right? And we have a lot of them built in, but there are these modules that are not built in, but available to us. For example, a module called sys. Now, sys does a lot of important things. Sys has to deal with uh, anything related to system functions and parameters. One system function and parameter that we can do is something like printing out the version of Python that we're running. So you could say print sys.version. Okay, now if we go to do that and we say save and we just go ahead and say Python 3 new script.py, you can see the name of sys is not defined. So we're getting an error here. Well, that's because we haven't imported it. So what we can do is we can say import sys and up here we can go ahead and just give this uh, a nice comment next to it and we can just say that sys is a system, a function, and parameters. Okay, and then let's go ahead and save this and now let's go and run it again. Now you can see that we are running Python 3.7.5 RC1 and we have now successfully printed this out. Why did this work? This worked because sys does not by default come imported. Some items are already built in by default. Sys is not one of them, but sys is very important and we're gonna use it over and over again. So you're gonna see it a, a lot. One of the most frequent, if not the most frequent, along with OS is another one, import OS. You're gonna see a lot of that over and over. So why are we going to see this? Well, we have things like argv. So argv is arguments. So when you think about from the bash lesson, like dollar sign one, you know, when we had an argument and we were doing our ping, like our script dot sh, and we had our IP address here as dollar sign one, something along those lines. Well, those are the same thing. We just call it argv in Python. That's something. Another thing is if we want to say sys.exit, which you're going to see again later in this course, we do a sys.exit that exits Python cleanly. We need a sys.exit. So you're going to see sys quite repeatedly. On top of this, there's more things that we can do with modules. Let's go ahead and delete this. And let's say that we wanted to import another module called date time. Now this does exactly what you think it does. But what if we wanted to import a specific part of date time? We didn't want to import the whole thing. We just want to import one module. We can say from date time, import date time. So we can do the same thing with sys. We can import a specific part of sys or we can import all of sys. So with date time, we're importing a specific part of it, right? And we can do something like print date time dot now something like that, and it should print us the date time. So do this. You can see now today's date is 11, 16, 2019 and what time we're recording. So we can also do uh, another nifty feature when it comes to importing, we can import with aliases. So instead of from date time, import date time, we can say import date time as something like DT, you could say import with alias. And instead of having to write date time dot now over and over and over, 
something like that, we can just write dt is shorter. We know what it means. And we don't have to write out date time, which is kind of lengthy. So print it again. You can see it still works. So importing is important. I'm going to say it again. You need to know that we're going to be importing certain modules out of Python. Most of these are built in. There are occasional times you're going to have to go out and download something and put it in your library and import it that way. But for the, this course that we're doing, you're only going to be importing from things that are pre-existing with Python. So not everything is automatically ready to go. Sometimes you have to import things in order to improve upon your script or do make it do what you want to do. So we're going to build off of this when we start writing our scripts. And you're going to see this repeatedly. You're going to also see this again when we do our exploit development part of the course. So let's go ahead and move on. We're going to move on to some advanced strings and we're going to get close to wrapping up here and start building out some cool little Python scripts. So I'll see you over in the next video.